Hey guys, it's Diana Tabwa with Redesign Your Clothes. Yep, I changed it. So, <laughs> spring is almost here and one of my favorite things I like to wear for the season is ripped jeans. And this tutorial was requested by Brooklyn 11 Bailey 79 So if you guys are interested in seeing how to recreate these extreme ripped bleach jeans, keep watching. So what you'll need for this project is a pair of jeans. The quality I'm using is cotton spandex, but if you have a different quality, I think it will work the same. Scissors, tweezers, this is very optional. Gloves to protect your hands. A measuring cup. Bleach solution and a bucket. My bucket is about 12 inches, 12 and a half inches wide and 11 and a half inches deep. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna be creating slashes in the front. You're gonna fold the leg. Pull the pocket um, fabric out so that way you don't cut it when you're about to slash into the fabric. The slashes are about one and a half to two inches wide and I'm going to start by the pocket. So you just generally place slashes throughout the front of the pan. Once you have both sides done, then you're gonna go back in and you're gonna create slits every other slash. I went ahead and created small slits, medium slits, slashed the bigger slits into half and even went even smaller because I wanted to vary. At the knees, I went ahead and cut out the knees, uh, gave it more of a, a whole effect. And towards the bottom of the pan, I also made smaller slits so that way it won't be too open. This is where the tweezers might come in. This is optional. You can pull threads out if you want to, but I decided that I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go straight into bleaching. Get your gloves on, and it's time for you to start dipping the jeans. So here's the tricky part. I put two cups of bleach into the bucket. After that, I take the top of the pants and quickly dip the top of the pan into the bleach for about one to two minutes max. Try to make sure that you work the bleach into the area that you want it. I wanted my part to be bleached from the waist all the way to the knees, so I try to get as much of the bleach into the uh, fabric within that one or two minutes. Once you're finished with that, pull it out of the um, bucket and place it inside the tub or wherever you're working at. Please do note that to, for you to go ahead and bleach this outside or in a ventilated area because the fumes may be intensive. Once it starts changing, you can set it aside, let it do its thing for a little bit, and then with the solution in the bucket, add water. I added cold water about less than half of the bucket and added one cup more of bleach along with the bleach solution that I already had. Then I dip the pants in there as much as I can where I wanted it to be bleached and let it sit for about two hours.
after two hours of checking to see how the process is going, it should look like this. If you notice that there's some parts that didn't get the bleach, you can put it back in the bucket again and let it sit for another hour. Once you see that it's correct, you can go ahead and rinse it out with cold water and throw it in the wash by itself. Dry it after that. And once it's finished, it should look like this. So once again, guys, if you like this video, like it subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment if you have an item in your closet that you wish to redesign and wear again and I'll select a commenter from the comment section for the next video so I see you guys in the next video bye